Hi guys and welcome to the next video of this entire series. In this video, I will be discussing what are anti-phishing policies. In the last video, we discussed what is advanced threat protection and how safe attachment and safe link policies help protect organizations from malicious links and attachments. In this particular session, we will be discussing what are anti-phishing policies, how anti-phishing policies protect organizations from spoof and phishing attacks. And then I will be showing you how we can create and manage anti-phishing policies. Anti-phishing policies protect organizations from receiving phishing emails and from spoofing attacks. First, let's understand what exactly spoofing is. Let's assume that an Office 365 tenant has a user whose name is Robert at Office365Concepts.com. Now, a user who does not belong to their organization is trying to send an email to Office 365 user and is pretending to be the CEO of their organization. The CEO's email address is John, the CEO at Office365Concepts.com. This external user will compose an email, will type the email address of John, and will send that email to Robert. Now, this external user can ask for any information from Robert because Robert doesn't know if the email was sent by John or it was sent from an unknown sender. So these type of attacks are called spoof attacks or spoofing. The other type of spoofing is domain spoofing, where a user can send emails to an organization using their domains. So within anti-phishing policies, you have an option to include your users or domains so that you can protect them from being spoofed. Anti-phishing policies can be managed from Security and Compliance Center and from Microsoft 365 Defender Portal as well. If you want to manage these policies from Security and Compliance Center, you can go to Security and Compliance Center from Office 365 Admin Center. Under Threat Management, you will click on Policy. And under Policies, you can click on Anti-phishing Policies. If you want to manage these policies from Microsoft 365 Defender, you will go to policies and rules, threat policies, and then anti-phishing policies. If you want to manage it from here or you want to manage it from here, the options will remain same. So this is the default policy, which is always on. We cannot turn it off. We cannot disable it or we cannot delete it. If you want to modify this policy, you can click on edit protection settings or you can click on edit actions and you can modify the default policy. If you want to create a custom policy, you will click on create. First, you will specify a name for this particular policy. On the next page, it will ask you to include your users, groups and domains under this policy. If you want to add your users, you can type the email address or the name of your user. If you want to add groups or if you want to add domains, you can add the name of your domains as well. The next option is exclude these users, groups and domains. If you want to exclude a user, a group or domain from this particular policy, you can add them under this section. Once you have made the changes, click next. The first option which says phishing email threshold, we can specify four types of phishing email threshold. Standard is the default value. The second value is aggressive. Second, third value is more aggressive and fourth value is most aggressive. So based on the phishing threshold, phishing policies will take action on the phishing emails. The severity of the action that is taken on the email depends on the degree of confidence that the email is phishing. For example, emails that are identified as phishing with a very high degree of confidence have the most severe actions applied, while the emails that are identified as phishing with a low degree of confidence have less severe actions applied. So as per your requirement, you can select these options. The next option is impersonation. Under impersonation, you can add your users and your domains to protect them from being impersonated or from being spoofed. For example, if you want to add email addresses of your users, 
if you want to add your users, you can click on manage senders. Here you can click on plus and you can type the name or a valid email address of the user. For example, this. And click on add. Now this user is protected under this impersonation policy. So if someone will try to impersonate the email address of this user or the domain which is added for this particular email address as a suffix, if someone will try to spoof, this user will receive a notification if as per the policies actions that you have specified, if the action says move the email to junk folder, so that email will go to the junk folder of the user. And if user will open that email, he will be able to check there that somebody has tried to spoof his name or the domain which is present within his email address. Once you have done this, once you have added the user, click on add and same way you can add multiple users as well. If you want to protect your domains, you can add your all the domains. The first option is include domains I own. So if you want to verify what domains you have, you can click on verify my domains and it will redirect you to a 365 domain section where you can check all the domains which are uh, present within your office 365 tenant like this. So if you want to include all these domains, you can click on this option include domains I own. If you want to include only the custom domains, for example, the domains that you have verified like these two domains, the domain which ends with dot on Microsoft.com, that is an initial domain. The domain that you purchase from a domain provider and you add that domain in Office 365 tenant, those domains are called custom domains. So here you can select this option and you can add your custom domains. The next option is add trusted senders and domains. If you want to allow a particular external email address or if you want to allow an external domain under this policy so that anti phishing policy should not take any action on those particular external senders or domains. You can add them under add sender and the policy will be bypassed for those senders. Same way you can add the domains here. You can click on plus and here you can type the domain name. And click add. Now any email which will be sent from gmail.com to your organization to your office 365 tenant that particular email will be will not be scanned by anti phishing policy anti phishing policy will be bypassed on that particular email. The next option is enable mailbox intelligence. This option is enabled by default mailbox intelligence works on artificial intelligence that determines your email pattern with your frequent contacts. That means if you are sending emails or receiving emails from a frequent contact, mailbox intelligence will determine that email is a safe email. Next option is enable intelligence for impersonation protection. This setting allows mailbox intelligence to take action on emails that are identified as impersonation attempts. So if you go next, here you can select the action that you want to specify based on these conditions. If you want to add the action, make sure you have added. You have enabled all these options. If you do not enable them, these options will be grayed out like this one. The next option is spoof or uh, enable spoof intelligence. Spoof intelligence is a feature that identifies if your users or domains are getting spoofed or not. This setting should be enabled so that you can specify the actions on the next screen. If you disable this action, then if you go to next, you will see this option is grayed out. So you will not be able to set the actions for this particular condition. So once you have enabled it as per your requirement. Once you have made the changes, you can go next. On the next screen, you will be specifying the actions. What action you want to take if the emails will meet these conditions. So the first action is if message is detected as an impersonated user. 
if anyone has tried to impersonate your user of your organization then what action you want to take you want to redirect message to other email address you want to move that email to recipient's junk email folder you want to quarantine the email you want to deliver the message and add other addresses to the bcc line so that you can send a copy of the same email to any other email address you want to delete the email or you do not want to take any action similarly if the message is detected as an impersonated domain if the domain is impersonated then what action you want to take the next action says if mailbox intelligence detects an impersonated user then what action you want to take so based on the conditions that you have specified here you will specify the actions on the next page if the message is detected as spoof then what action you want to take the next section is safety tips and indicators and the first option under this section is show first contact safety tip if we enable this setting users will receive a safety tip if they have received an email first time from a sender or if they do not often get emails from that particular sender in these two scenarios they will receive safety tips which is again possible with artificial intelligence and this is a very useful feature which is included within anti phishing policies next option is show user impersonation safety tip if any user is spoofed by a particular sender when user will receive that email user will be able to see a tip or a text on his outlook email application which says your email address has been impersonated the next option is show domain impersonation safety tip it is same as show user impersonation safety tip the only difference is if the domain is impersonated in that case users will receive a safety tip within their outlook client next option is show user impersonation unusual characters safety tip if the recipient's email address within the email shows a combination of small and capital letters in that case their outlook client will show a safety tip next option is show question mark for unauthenticated senders for spoof if the sender does not pass spf dkim and dmark checks users will see a question mark instead of the sender's picture within their outlook client and the last option is show via tag if from address is different from the domain name in dkim signatures this option will add a via tag to the from address for example sender at abc.com via xyz.com that means sender has sent an email from using a different domain so once you have made the changes you can click next review the changes review the settings and click submit this will create a custom anti phishing policy so if you have learned something new from this particular series please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you for your time take care